Today we're talking about one of the prettiest phones that's ever had the honor of being in my manicured hands for a while. And why despite certain things I don't like about this thing, I've kept on using it. I'm talking about the Honor 20 Lite, which is honestly a breathtaking phone. Look at that. Basically, this is the baby of the Honor 20 line, of which we have three, the Honor 20 Pro, the Honor 20, and the Honor 20 Lite. Being the baby of the family, it's also the cheapest. Despite that, this phone has the color aesthetics that has drawn me in most. You cannot believe how well this phone matches my outfit. This red to purple gradient just matches my life. But more on these colors later. More things I love about this phone. There are three rear cameras, so there's a wide and a portrait option. There's no zoom, but that wasn't really a priority with my shooting, except for stalker dog IG stories like this one. It can take great photos and ideal shooting scenarios. And it's more than enough for my social media use, i.e. my gym selfies, exercise videos, and Instagram stories. The single shooter selfie camera is also pretty capable. Plus, it has the adjustable AI beauty mode. Operative word, adjustable. So you can give yourself that tiny boost for when you want fresher selfies. The 3,400 milliamp power battery also lasts me a whole day, despite and in spite of all my use. I can also play games on this thing with no issues. Granted, I'm not the hardcore of gamers. The Honor 20 Lite has a similarly light plastic feel. It might feel cheap to some, but personally, I find it's a good relief from too big, too heavy smartphones in the market now. Lastly, I love that this has been my daily driver for almost a whole month, and I've been very satisfied with it. Now onto the things I don't necessarily like. The fact that it has a notch, because I really don't like the concept of notches, although props that it's tiny so it isn't really distracting. Also, the main speakers are on the bottom of the phone, which sucks for your audio when you watch things like this, and they're accidentally covered, which is something I tend to do when I'm watching videos before bed. But this is easily remedied by getting a literal better view. Now my main issue about this phone, and this is also because I have since been living the dongle life, is the fact that this has a micro USB port. This is something that never really bothered me before, but since I have been using one cord for my laptop and other phones, this has honestly been an annoying issue. Nothing I can't live with, but oh my god, if I can live without that hassle, I'd totally do it. The Honor 20 Lite is a well-rounded phone, but it's not the best or the most powerful phone I've used. Fair considering the price tag. But despite that, and despite having a really big issue with the micro USB, why did it stay in my hands for so long? Well, the easiest answer would be that it was so pretty and I enjoyed having it in my hands so much. I kid you not, everywhere I've gone, I've gotten compliments about it. Manila, New York, California, where else have we gone? Doesn't matter, a lot of other places. Everywhere I've gone, people have looked at this phone, and then my hair, and then the phone, and they all went like, that's a very pretty phone. But this just goes back to my appreciation over colors. We live at the time when smartphones can fold, can talk to you, can work with gestures, and if phones can do that, why can't they come in pretty colors? Colors, like my hair. <laughs> the fact that a phone looks this good is something that appeals to my heart of hearts. And this is why I feel that it's very important for smartphones to come in a lot of different colors. These days, smartphones are not only utility devices, but they've become an extension of our person. They've sort of become accessories. And if I'm gonna be holding on to something for most of the day, I want it to be something that looks good something that's pretty, and something that matches my aesthetic. But it's not even just aesthetics. There is something we call color science. According to color experts from Honor, certain colors evoke certain emotions. For example, pink apparently is the color of love 
and keeping. Red, basically, is a color that demands attention and it's supposed to ensure that everyone notices you. It's also supposed to be passionate and exciting. No surprise because everyone has noticed this phone and colors at the end of the spectrum supposedly are colors that make you feel excited, get you going, and make you feel and make you joyous and happy. Which honestly are all things I feel for this phone. Purple on the other hand are supposed to make you feel calm and unshakable. Unshakable in the belief that this is a pretty thing. And there's nothing wrong with liking pretty things. In today's age of technology, even color can mean a lot. 